Hey, everyone. I, uh, it's, I know it's pretty early in the morning, so I'll try not to put you back to sleep. So my name is Cole. I am 14 years old. I'm a freshman, and I'm homeschooled. And this is my third year and second, and I got to say it's been an amazing, an amazing three years because of this youth group for two pretty big reasons. One, it's been my super dull Wednesday, super fun. <laughs> and two, more importantly, of course, I grew spiritually. And that's what I'm going to be talking about. I have grown so close to God without even realizing it. So what made me notice this is what one of my friends, Danny Travis, once told me. It was a month or two ago. It was Wednesday, so it was a youth, it was a youth group. And there was about five or six of us. We were just having a conversation. And Danny was standing to the left of me. And he, he was like out of the blue. I have no idea what made him think of this. But he was standing to the left of me, and he almost like pivots and goes, Cole? I remember when you first walked into second, you were this short little kid, you had buzz cut hair, bright red face, and you were so shy that you didn't talk to anyone. I was like, what was I supposed to say to that? So I just laughed and nodded, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But weeks later, I remembered that moment, and it stuck with me. I have grown a lot. I've obviously matured, I've got better hair now, hopefully. <laughs> but I also, I've also grown spiritually, and I didn't even know it. So I started off in second, literally just standing there because it was a brand, brand new thing for me. And worship was also a brand new thing for me. So I literally just stood there. During worship, I just bounced to the beat. You like to watch the Embers team. I used to like to watch the drummer. But I didn't do much other than that. And prayer was even harder for me because when I was little, younger at least, I couldn't even stay focused. I couldn't stay focused. So during prayer, I, to me, when I, when I close my eyes, that's my chance to think, what am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing this weekend? Maybe I should hang out with this person or this person. I couldn't stay focused on praying or God. But I've gradually grown. I've gradually grown since then. So, for example, when we would go to the fall retreats and Flower City, I would always, always have a great time. And during worship, it's, it's like the mood in the room. If everyone's jumping up and down, so you jump up and down. So, for me, when we, when we would worship, I would be really worshiping. I would have my eyes closed. I would have my hands in the air. I will be really worshiping our God. And prayer, during praying, I will be down praying, connecting with God, feeling his presence in the room. Then when I would stand up, I would notice my eyes were all watery. I'd be like, oh, my gosh, I'm really crying, making sure no one noticed. But that's what would happen with me every single time. But when it was over, when I would get home, that excitement and closeness and connection I felt with God it just slowly faded away. I couldn't stay with it. And then fall retreat 2017 came, and it was amazing. The weather was beautiful. Everyone had a great time. And like I said, during worship, it's the mood in the room. Everyone's jumping up and down, so you jump up and down. So at this retreat, I'm worshiping like I did all the other times. And during prayer, I'll be down really praying, connecting with God. But what made this weekend so special, it wasn't what happened at the retreat is what happened after. When I got home, that excitement, that hype, and that closeness I felt with God, it never faded away. I finally stood with it. God broke through to me that weekend. So the Wednesday after came, and it was embers, so it was worship night. And at this point in time during worship, I would, you know, bounce the beat, sometimes have my eyes closed, I'll be singing the words, well, nothing other than that, because I wanted to stay where I was. I want to stay in my comfort zone. But this Wednesday after, before I knew it, bam, my hand was in the air. Bam, my other hand was in the air. I was worshiping God like I was at the retreat. And during prayer, I'll be down praying, connecting with God like I was at the retreat. I finally got to be where I've always wanted to be. So God has impacted my life. He's made me a better person spiritually, and he's made me more alive in Christ. And I didn't even know it. I didn't even know it until I looked back on my life. And that's our miracle working God. He keeps coming. He comes after us and keeps coming. He keeps coming until we finally break free to him. And that's what happened with me. And that's all he wants. And maybe, maybe this, that's happening in your life. You want to grow closer to God and you're trying everything like all the other people around you. But you also don't want to leave where you are because you want to stay where you know you're safe, where you're, where you're comfortable. I can say from experience, do it. Do it anyway, because once you do, you're going to be right where you've always wanted to be, like that. Thank you. <laughs>